There's an eco-themed art installation happening right now at Flamingo Gardens in Davie. The famed Botanical Gardens, a perfect backdrop for an important show that really does impact all of us. And it's so inspiring. The artists, a Hollywood couple, looking to educate the masses by using trash to show us what we're doing to our natural world. Freeing our seas and beyond is tonight's Don't Trash Our Treasure. I come out here almost every day to collect trash. Man and Weiss is on a mission. Whether it's plastic water bottle, straw, bag. Making art to wake us up to the impact our mindless consumption is having on our planet. There's so much stuff on our beaches that people don't realize because they don't see it. So our sculptures show what comes onto our beaches. 10 works currently on display in Flamingo Gardens in Davie. Each and every one made from trash man and found on Hollywood Beach and crafted by her husband, Kurt. The Mahi Mahi is created with colorful plastics that he had cut from buckets, from containers that we found on the beach. The eyes are actually two plastic spoons. The idea for the Mahi came after Manon collaborated with the Broward Surfrider Foundation for the 2018 Hollywood Candy Cane Parade to make this float entirely out of beach litter. And we won for most unique, but it brought awareness. People couldn't believe that we found all this on our local beach. That's how Free Our Seas and Beyond was born, a nonprofit created by Manon to attack a problem growing more and more pervasive by the day. I was walking the beach. I kept seeing trash, trash, trash everywhere. And I was wondering, what can I do with this? Because nobody recycles. And I thought, what better way to educate the public but through the arts? And it's about visual seeing it and knowing that this stuff is out there. A pelican to show us how recklessly discarded fishing gear is killing our marine birds. A manta ray stuffed with ocean plastic like too many in real life. And this Florida gator depicting how litter is also impacting wildlife in the Everglades. This alligator was created with garbage cans, oil can tops, a Tonka toy, wheels and toothbrushes. That's what we made the teeth out of. Check out this grouper made from 200 flip-flops. This is on our beaches, not flip-flops that somebody left, but flip-flops that came in from the ocean, from a Gulf Stream that brought them. Sometimes I'll find five to 10 flip-flops a day and not pairs, just yeah. ones. They're made out of rubber. They're not biodegradable. And neither is all that plastic. Less than 9% of all global plastic is actually recycled. That means that what hasn't been incinerated is still on our planet in some shape or form. Recycling's not happening. People think it is, but it's not. So we used our art as an avenue to get the word out there and also to reuse it because it's not gonna be recycled. The message here isn't subtle. Reduce our waste before it's too late. The future here is our children and they're not going to have a clean planet if we don't start making the change here. They're in danger. There's only 10 left. Where our species already beginning to disappear. This installation of the critically endangered vaquita was started two years ago when there were 17 left on the planet. Right now, there's only 10. They could be gone in a year. And it's detrimental to our environment because everything is interconnected. So once they're gone, what's next? The fight grows more urgent. Hollywood Roadway, let's do it. Let's clean up this beach. But on this day, Manon has reinforcements. An army of volunteers converging on Hollywood's Marine Environmental Education Center to once again clean up the beach and collect the pieces that will no doubt inspire the next work. I guess the sad thing is that there's never any shortage of supplies and no. materials. No, honestly, I'd prefer there be no plastics and I wouldn't have to do this, <laughs> you know? But I, I love our planet, I love Hollywood, and I really want to bring awareness to the pollution that's happening right now. Boy, she is such an inspiration. Free Our Seas and Beyond's installation at Flamingo Gardens runs through September 5th. For more info on Free Our Seas and Beyond, including how to donate or be a volunteer, scan that QR code there on your screen. It'll take you straight to the Don't Trash Our Treasure section on local10.com. I highly recommend it. Oh, so yeah. ingenious, right? Well, I mean, so clever. And I just love Flamingo Gardens anyway. That it's beautiful, It's right? a great place it to really go is. and spend the day with your family. So mm -hmm. now that you've got go a, see another it. Stop good using plastic, go. please. Yeah, and flip-flops. All those flip-flops. Flip yeah. Wow.